Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and I am here with a brand new Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair and an Arm Rest Spacer Kit. So the Eagle Power Wheelchair in between the armrests from the factory comes with 18 and a half inches of space. Now some people want to add an additional three and a half inches of space to the seat and with the optional armrest spacer kit, we certainly can. So whether you have an Eagle, whether you have a Falcon or an Electra 7, all of those chairs give you the ability to use the armrest spacer kit to add an additional three and a half inches of space. So in the course of this video, we're going to show exactly how this works, but first it's a great opportunity to pause the video to learn where to find us online, quickandmobile.com. Or if you have any questions and you're in the United States, you can call us 888-701-8799, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. through 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so let's take a look at the spacer kit and let's take a look at the tools necessary to install it. And before I go into the tools, you might notice that I have a high power charger plugged into the Eagle. You can kind of hear the, the hum of the charger. So this is different than the charger that comes with the chair itself. This will charge the chair full in about half the time it takes to charge with the regular charger. So we're just getting this chair powered up. That's great for people that are on the go. Um, but what I did is I went right directly into the basket underneath the chair and there is the tool kit. We have two Allen wrenches. I'm going to use the bigger of the two and we'll get this out of the way for now. I'm just going to kind of scoot out of the way. And we notice that we have four screws as part of the kit and the actual spacers, you'll notice that there's two different lengths. So this is important to know. So the first thing that we're going to do, and I kind of pre-loosened this already, so just gently use the Allen wrench, unscrew the screws, and what I like to do here is just kind of keep this aside. You never know when you're going to need these. And we're going to kind of put that guy over there for a little bit. Just get it out of the way. And same thing over here. We're just going to get this cap kind of out of the way here. Remove this screw. Get this cap out of the way. We're going to pull the actual armrest off. Now, I want to point out either side of the armrest itself. If, if one of these kind of protective plastic sheaths fall out, just put those two back in. And let's take a look here actually at the chair itself. On the frame, this is a little bit longer. And then on the seat, that's a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. It depends on the angle. So I'm gonna get a long and a short and I'm gonna put the long on the long. You see how that goes flush? And then I'm gonna put the short on the short. You see how that goes flush? If I did this the opposite way, that's gonna go flush, but that's not gonna go flush. So you don't want that. So basically the long goes on the top, the short goes on the bottom. And what we're going to do, and if you notice, these are very high quality spacers they're custom machined, custom milled. You're still gonna maintain all the integrity of the chair. This chair holds up to 400 pounds. I've balanced on the arms of these chairs in many videos, and I don't hesitate to balance on the arms of these chairs with the spacer installed. So you see, I'm just going to put the arm back on the chair. Might need to kind of just give it a little shove or a little gentle nudge. Going to make certain the spacer caps fit. Or you may need a mallet. If yeah, a, a little mallet, mallet. That's, that's a good point. If, if it doesn't go in very easy, I mean, you don't want to, you know, smack it to the point where it's, it's unmanageable, but a little mallet is, is something that's definitely possible. And what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of getting both of these in at the same time here and very easily and easy is the key here I don't want to force this I don't want to strip the screw I don't want to 
win a strongman contest or anything like that. I am just very simply looking to get this flush and it's about flush right there. Maybe another little quarter turn. And then right up here, same thing. Just getting this nice and flush. You see these screws kind of go all the way through and grab the, the actual frame, which is what I want. Well, maybe, yeah, that's about it right there. Now you can see that this kit right here, we've got everything is, is beautiful and everything is flush with the chair. Looks wonderful. And if we go ahead and pull the arm up, you have all of the functionality. So that's a great way to add three and a half inches of space to the Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair. Very simple to do. And we hope that you enjoyed watching this video and it makes installing your spacer kit a breeze. Thank you for watching.